Hello everyone, welcome to this leg day workout. My name is Aisha, I am an instructor for the Y at the Steel Creek Y, the Saris Y, and the Morrison Y. Today I am thankful that I get to share this workout with you all, and I hope you are thankful that you have some nice strong legs that you're about to build today. So let's get started just with a simple warm up. Let's warm up the bottom half, taking it down, and just draw one knee up. We're gonna take it down nice and slow and draw one knee up. This is gonna get us ready for the first movement we have coming up. Good. One side, draw it up, push it down. Chest stays tall, hips go back. Now right here, I want you to open up those hips. Just take one leg around, come back. Other leg around, comes back. Yeah, right there. Up through the middle, we'll work it out to the sides. Now I want you to reverse it. Bring it out the leg back in. Right there. Good. Getting those hips nice and open. Let us work on that inner thigh. I want you to take one leg out and just hold it down. So my knee is tracking along with my toe. My inner thigh is feeling a little stretch right now, even before we get started. Now I want you to switch sides, same thing. My hands are resting on top of the knee. Holding here. Let's do it one more time each side. Pushing over. And the other side. Now I want you to come in the middle. I want you to heel toe those feet in. Just a few, and I want you to push your hips back having your chest forward parallel to that ground and then I want you to release the upper body. Let's shake out those hamstrings just before we get started. Now I want you to bring both the legs in together and walk it as you come up. All right, I think those legs are ready. Are you ready for this workout? We're gonna get into it. Remember, this is your legs workout. So we're gonna start up and then we're gonna move to the ground. We got 45 seconds on, 15 seconds rest the entire time. So if you get winded, you need to take a break, grab a sip of water. All right, let's get started. First movement, we have a squat with a touch the opposite leg. Let's go, right here. So we're gonna take it down and here, down. Good. Remember, pushing those hips back. We don't want to topple over. So making sure your chest stays up. Touch, touch, down, touch. Oh, keep it going. We're over halfway done. Here is the beautiful thing about today, y'all. We repeat things one time. So if you're like, Aisha, man, Squat touches are not working for me today. That's okay. They're working for your legs. Come on. All right, you gotta rest. 15 seconds. This is not your time to go and do some cardio to play, right? Because we're gonna burn out these legs. Next thing, we gotta squat and then hop. You ready? Let's do it. One squat, come up, one hop. Soft landing, one squat. One hop. Now you see, as I come down from that hop, my legs are bent. What I don't wanna see is that, right? You can immediately feel the impact of that movement. So soft knees, just like that. One squat, get up. One squat, get up. Here we go. Three, two, one. Woo, shake it on out. All right, now, since we have two legs, the next movement, we're gonna start off on one leg, and then we're gonna move to the other. You have a back lunge with a front kick. This is what it looks like. Back lunge, front kick. Let's try it out. One leg, bring it up. 
Now, this is a legs workout, but that's not all we're working here. We're using the core to stabilize as we lift that leg up and extend forward. And use those arms, however you like, to help you balance. Now an option, throw in a tap. So come down, tap it in the middle, kick it up. How about those 10 seconds? Three. All right, y'all. Woo, shake it out. Gonna turn to the side again so I can show you. We're coming back down and we're kicking out. Other leg, don't do the same leg. Other leg. Take it back, kick it forward. Right there. Remember your option. Add in those taps in the middle. I hope you're feeling good out there. This workout, remember we are thankful for the body that we have, right? For the health that we possess. So I want you to get those bodies that can move, that are capable of so much going today. We got 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Woo -wee. I hope you're feeling good out there. Now, I want to activate those calves a little bit. So bringing those legs a little wider to the hip width, we're going to come down. We're going to raise up on our heels. You ready? Let's try it here. And raise up. There you go. Raise up. So if I have any ballerinas out there, right? You ever done point or any type of dance? You know what the baller foot is. It's right below those toes that we're raising up. Come down, squeeze. So as you raise up those heels, you should feel it in the back of that leg. We're almost there. Three, two, and one. All right, y'all. We got courtesy lunges. We're gonna take the leg back behind, taking it down and bringing it up. Now, if you're feeling really good today, you wanna try something new, I want you to bring that knee up, all right? So we're down, you can bring the knee up or just tap. That leg is going behind you, slightly out and coming back up. Again, we're using that core to get up. Good, remember that option. But I don't want to see it this, right? We're not trying to equal, make these feet equal, right? We want to be back and a crossing over. Yes, 10 more seconds. Is that sweat starting to come just yet? Come on. All right, rest it out. Woo! Do you feel it over here a little bit? Ha! Ah. Let's try the other side. Same thing, taking it back, pulling it up, or taking it back and just tapping out. Right? That's where we're going. Up and down. Curtsy it down and bring it up. Now maybe on one side, you're a little bit stronger. Maybe your balance is better from one side to the next. That's all right, because we get to work each side and we get to strengthen each side. So even if you feel a little bit more wobbly on one side, pull that core in and use it to stabilize the legs. You got three, two, one. Whew. Shaking it out here. All right, we got a front lunge side step. Now, turn to the side. Front lunge, we're gonna step it out, step it in, and come back. That's it, that's it. Let's try it. So take it, and come back. We're gonna try that again. Take it out, 
away from the body and come back in. Same leg. Yes. So here's the trick. We're using power to push away and then come back down. Your option, just a regular front lunge, right? That's it. Keeping the chest nice and tall. Oh man, 10 more. Three, two, and one. How you doing? Check in, how you're feeling? Shake out those legs a little bit if you need to. So we did one leg, now we're gonna do the other leg. Same thing, front, away from the body, back in. Let's go. And in. Yes. Come down and bring it back up. I use my arm a lot as balance, right? They are useful during leg workouts. So you can use them. You can keep them stabilized right on those hips. Keep it going. Three, two, and one. Woo! All right, y'all. Let's hit that hamstring a little bit here. So next move, take a leg. We got a deadlift, and then we're gonna bring that leg up, okay? Or a deadlift, and tap, leg up. Let's try it. So, when I'm coming down with my chest, it stops right at those hips. I'm not coming any lower. And here is the tip. Here is your trick. Keep your eyes planted on a spot. Like dancers spot as they're turning. You're gonna keep your eyes planted. It's gonna help you with balance as you get that leg extended out and you pull it up. Yeah, yeah. Three, two, one. Other side. Here we go. Hopefully you felt that right in the back of that leg. We're gonna try it again this time. Switch legs, right? Your body will tell you if you don't now. Dead lift, knee lift. So coming down and bringing it up. Here we go. Remember that tap? That goes as well. And as you do this workout more and more, you will find that your balance will continually improve, right? Uh-huh. Almost done with this side. Don't rush it. All right, shake it out. All right, quickly. Grab your mats. Grab those mats. We're coming right down to the ground. This is what we're going to. We got side leg lifts. So coming on one side, elbow down, foot is extended. We're coming up and down. Ooh. Lift up and take it down. And here's the key. Try to keep that knee from going upward, right? So we want to want to be here. We want to be here. We got 45 seconds. Is it starting to tingle a little bit? Right? Are you starting to feel a little something? If you do, make sure your hips don't fall back, but they stay stacked on top of one another. Come on, come on. Oh, bring it in. Now, we're gonna stay on that same side. We're gonna go to a shell opener. What does that mean? My feet stay together, lifting up the hips, opening up my knees, and bringing it back down. All right, let's go. We're lifting up and bringing it back down. Now, I have my hand in front as a stabilizer, right? 
you can have your hand on your hip or right here. You choose whatever is most comfortable for you. But as you lift up, opening up, right? We want to make sure to have space between us and the mat as we come up. Lift it up. Open it up. Now you got to get the shell open, right? Because there's a great big beautiful pearl. Just, it's just waiting on you. So we got to get it. Come on. Almost there. All right, rest it out. Can we switch sides? Here, finding that sweet spot, all right? One leg is extended, the other leg is bent. The knee is facing forward. We lift up and we lower it down. Now remember what I said about those hips. We don't want them to start going back. This is my, I'm sitting down, maybe I'm watching some TV, eat some chips pose, right? This is my I'm ready to work pose. Here we go. Lift up and come down. Now, is this your stronger side or your strong side, right? My right side is my stronger side, but my left side is better with balance. Keep going. Good. Almost to the end. Woo! Now, if you need a little shaking going on, right, you can rub out those thighs when we're waiting, and then we are back. So legs together, open up that shell. Let's go. Uh-huh. So figure out where you like to rest those hands. There you go. Again, when you come down, we're not dropping back. We're staying stacked. Open up. We're over halfway done. Come on. Less than 10. Keep it going. Oh, yeah. All right, y'all. Here comes the fun part. Glute. Bridge. We're laying it back. You can have those hands right out to the side, but we're pushing the hips up into the air and we're coming back down. Let's go. Squeeze up and come down. Now, what I want you to think about is, is my knee aligned with my shoulder? What I don't want to see is this, right? We want to squeeze it up so we got a nice straight line from shoulders to knees. We're down and up. I'm gonna wish up on a blue star. Good. Pushing up, pushing up. Pushing up. We don't want to stop our fitness journey, our health journey at the end of the year, right? We want to push it even harder, maybe a little bit more, so that we start off the new year stronger. All right. Rest it out. All right, next up, okay? We're here. One leg is extended, hips are up, okay? We're pulling the knee in and we're pushing out. That's where we're going, okay? Keep those hips up. One leg pulls in and push out. Good. Now here's your option. You can hold that leg out or simply hold in the bridge, all right? So you choose, hold it here, hold the leg out, or keep it moving. All right, rest it down. Other side, same thing. We're gonna push those hips up, extend the leg out, and bring it back in. Get that core ready, get those glutes ready, get those legs ready. Shift up, 
Here we go. Memory option. Hold the glute bridge. Good. In. In out. And those options are there for a reason, right? It gives you a chance to rest. It gives you a chance to build upon whatever you're doing right now. So don't feel obligated to do everything all the time. Sometimes our body needs a chance to recover and to come back. You got 10. Almost there. Woo, bring it down. All right, y'all, grab onto those thighs. Rock and roll your way up. We're turning over. We're right here. Can you guess what's coming up? We got a leg lift. So I want you to extend that leg straight out. Lift it up and take it down. Guess what? Are you ready for some good news? I know you've been working hard. You've been doing it. You showed me how thankful you were for the body and for the health you were given. And now, you can be rewarded with only three more exercises to go. Woo -hoo. Come on. Lift it up and down. Good. 10 seconds. All right, bring it down. You can shake out those hips a little bit. You can also sit it down and get ready for that next set. Now, same leg, we're gonna rainbow it. So it's like you're drawing a rainbow, you're drawing an arch. Start off in the middle and take it inward and then draw that arch, take it outward. Just like that. <laughs> Lift, come over, come down. How are those thighs feeling? How about the outside of that leg? We're almost there. Draw that arch, come back. In three, two, one. Bring that leg in. Woo! Now can you turn for me? I want to see the other side. Two more, and we get to cool it down. Extend that leg out. We lift and lower. Now, no retired. We're getting up there, right? I don't want to see a this. Right? I want you to keep that spine nice and neutral as you lift the leg. Remember, this is a leg workout. Pulling it up. Almost. Are you feeling the strength? Seven. Come on, lift and lower. Oh, y'all. Last round. Get excited. We got those rainbows once more. Bringing that arch towards your body, then away from the body. Last 45. Extend that leg out. Let's do it. Spine neutral. Okay. Also, I don't want to see this, right? <laughs> We get tired, we seem to get lower and lower to the ground, right? It's like a magnet pulling us down, which I want you to stay nice and strong for these last 20 seconds. Working hard, don't stop at the end. Five. that leg in. I want you to take those knees outside corners of the mat, bringing the toes in, and simply push the hips back. I want you to reach those hands forward 
and let your upper body just fall towards the ground. You can place your forehead on top and holding it here. Enjoy this stretch. You have earned it, you have worked for it. Now I want you to come back up. We're on all fours here. I want you to take one leg, bring it forward. Now right here, you can see my leg isn't too far back. It's right there in the middle. So we're gonna push those hips down. So you feel the stretch in the back leg. Okay? So I'm drawing my hips to the front. Good. And I want you to take one hand down to the ground. You lift the other hand up. I hope you had a good time today. I hope you've got an even better workout. Bring that hand back in front. Now I want you to simply shift the weight to the back of the room. You can split the leg with those hands or you can simply come on top, okay? But I want you to feel it right in the back of that leg, a nice hamstring stretch here. Now bring it back up to neutral. I want you to take that leg back behind. Other leg comes forward. Sitting it up, shifting the hips forward. Yes. Can you feel it? Right in there. If you're like, Aisha, ooh, I need a little deeper. I want you to push those hips down. Well, if this feels good, stay here. Now taking one hand down, I want you to open up. Good, bringing that hand back down. Push the hips back. You can split the leg, the rest on top, combination of both. It doesn't matter. This is your cool down. So I want you to do what feels good for those legs and what's right for you today. Good. Bring it back up. Taking that leg behind. Tucking those toes. Rolling those hips back. And slowly roll it up. Good. Standing right here, give me a big old inhale up. And even bigger exhale down, take a bow. We are done for today, y'all. Thank you guys so much for joining me in my workout today. If you're not a member of the Y, that's okay. We have a great special going on right now. Join now, pay nothing until January, guys. Thank you so much for coming out and let's jumpstart this new year workout together. Happy Thanksgiving.